Hello, I am Dr. Shujay Dashgupta, consultant gynecologist and infertility and IVF specialist. Many times we see that women are coming to our clinic with tube block. When uh, in that case, we advise some tests like SSG, sonosalpic graphy or SIS, saline infusion sonography. Some women are asking, doctor, why don't you advise hydrotubation? What is hydrotubation? In hydrotubation, saline water is injected through the vagina inside the uterus and whether the saline water is passing through the tubes or not is checked by putting a stethoscope in the tummy and the doctor listens to the sound of water whether it's going through the tubes or not. But we don't do it. We do SSG or SIS by which we do the same thing that is we inject some saline water but instead of listening through stethoscope we see it, we visualize it in the ultrasound machine and we see whether the water is passing through the tubes or not. And you will all understand that seeing something directly is much more accurate than listening something. It was said that hydrotubation sometimes can open the block tubes, but we are doing the same thing by SSG or saline infusion sonography. Therefore, we don't do hydrotubation. And remember, Hydrotubation is not done nowadays. It's an old treatment. Hydrotubation was done when ultrasound was not easily available. Now we have easily, uh, uh, the uh, ultrasound machine easily available. That's why we are doing sonosanspingrography or SIS to see whether tubes are open or not. If tubes are blocked by SIS or sonosalpingography, in that case, you should do IVF or laparoscopy depending on other parameters. But sometimes we have seen that women who are older, 38 years, tubes are blocked, AMH is low, they are doing hydrotubation months after months. It's a waste of valuable time because in that case, if you are spending time for hydrotubation, your age will increase and your chance of pregnancy will decline. Therefore, you should not delay treatment and you should not rely on hydrotubation. That's why we don't advise hydrotubation. We advise not to rely on hydrotubation. If you find your tubes are blocked, do sonosalpingography or SIS. If you find tubes are open, fine. If you find tubes are blocked, then go for IVF or laparoscopy. Therefore, don't rely on hydrotubation. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have further queries, please don't hesitate to contact us through our Facebook page or YouTube channel.